Hello YouTube, this is just going to be a little show and tell video with my Agama. Alright, this is the K-Bar Agama, also known as the K2. As you can see, it has textured aluminum handle scales with uh, holes that are both uh, to enhance grip and for lightness. And here's the clip side one position pocket clip. Now when I got this knife, it was literally like $12. Uh, this is the older version. They have a new version that's it's basically the same thing, but it's like a different different handle scales, different materials. Now the reason I have this knife out is because I was touching it up with my WorkSharp sharpener, so I'll show you some sharpening results as well. And the whole knife. A more pointed spear point design with a swedge, partial hollow grind, and an opening hole. All right, and it is a liner lock. And the blade length on this, 3.6 inches by my measurement. And I'm sure you're wondering, what's the blade steel? Well, you know, my friends, there are some times in this life where we think we want to know something, but after we find out, we realize that it would have been better if we hadn't known or asked. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know what the blade steel is. Um, I wouldn't want to speculate. You know, it's it's a stainless steel. I know that. It's a cheap stainless steel. And here's a size comparison for you. The K2 in the middle. The ever popular Spyderco Endura on the left. And the Kershaw Injection 3.5 on the right. Uh, and check out my review of that uh, Kershaw. It's a pretty good knife in itself. Budget blade. All right, that that endure just moved by itself. I don't I don't know how that happened. Anyway, it's it's in between these two. It's basically slightly shorter than uh, the Endura. All right, and here's a little close up of the Agama. You know, it's not that much not much to look at, but open pillar construction, opening hole, and uh, the hole is placed correctly. All right, it does open smoothly. It locks securely. Like I said. Liner lock there. Yeah, you know, you can see the ergonomics. It's not bad for the price I paid. I mean, 12 bucks, of course. Um, you know, but with my sharpening, I made it better. Now, this was already pretty sharp out of the box, but, uh, you know, it had a conventional V, v grind, and um, the work sharp, it puts a convexed edge. So now, not only is it sharp, but it is a slightly stronger of an edge geometry. And you know, I'm just now learning uh, more how to use the work sharp on small folding knives or just folding knives. And uh, you know, you gotta you gotta have a light touch. I mean, you don't want to just grind all the metal away. That's why I you know kind of chose to experiment uh, with this cheaper knife. But I'll put the um, I'll put a playlist of my WorkSharp videos in the text description box so you can see what I'm talking about. It's a sharpening tool. All right, now what I'm going to try to do is a push cut, a real slow push cut, meaning instead of you know drawing the edge across and through like a slice, I'm just going to try to actually just like push, just push straight with like one little piece of the edge. And try to do it slow. All right. All right, so there you go with the, that was just a slow push cut. Now it's much easier to cut if you do uh, kind of slice through like that. Like so. But either way, you know, it, it's sharp now. All right, let's do that one more time. First the push cut. All right, that was the push cut. You saw how I went like that. Now just like a regular kind of drawing it through. There you go. And uh, you know, just like a fast cut. All right, that is all. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing yet another budget blade. You can find these on Amazon. Like I said, 
The new version has different handle scales, but it's the same same damn knife. And uh, yeah, I've gotten way more than uh, what it cost me. Got way more use out of it than that already. I've had this for, I don't know, a couple years. Alright, YouTube, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.